Hello, I'm Bill Farmer, 5th District Urban County Council member, welcoming you to another very special edition of Lexplorer. Today we've come out to the Lexington Tennis Center and we're joined by Joe Wallen, who's the general manager. Joe? Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks for having me. Talk for a minute first about the Tennis Center, because you told me something when I walked in here that I did not know about the Lexington Tennis Center. I did. We are actually the third largest tennis club in the country, which I know where we're located doesn't seem like that, but we have 15 indoor courts and seven outdoor courts and full gym and nursery, and it's, it's pretty big. You know, when this, when this was built, this was kind of far out. Now it's really not, I mean, it's, it's much more a part of the city. Oh yeah, it is. And, and people, they, they know we're here, but until they actually come here, they go, what you did, wow, this is big. And then yeah. don't you, there's kind of condos or townhouses built right around here? There that, are, there's that, townhomes all around and yeah. apartments behind us, so yeah. It's, but it's nice, it's a good area. This is the area we need to be in. And then, uh, just one more before we get on to our today, uh -huh. today's topic. Yep. You all in, in the winter are open like all hours, aren't you? In the summer we're open all hours. We're actually open 6.30 in the morning till 11 at night and that's when the parties get going. So our staff don't usually get out of here till at least probably one in the mornings. Well, you got to love tennis, and we do here in Lexington. <laughs> there's no doubt about it. Yep. Well, now, you have been working on an upcoming event that I think the people of Fayette County want to know about and several will want to participate in. And it's it is the called the Worldwide Day of Play. It is. Uh, USTA National have teamed up with Nickelodeon. USTA is the United States Tennis Association. Thank you. Just Thank you. Checking. And um, they have teamed up with Nickelodeon. And Nickelodeon is actually going black that day, blackout, so no one it turns off for three hours on October the 6th. On October 6th. And so basically. From 11 until 2. Yeah, I don't know whether they black out 11 to 2. That's what time our event is. But we'll stay with 11 to 2. But basically, it's also Obesity Month this month in yes, September. And so they want kids to get out and play instead of just sitting in front of the TV. So. You know, it's been in the paper recently. and. It, more than one of our council meetings, just about activity. Yeah, it is. And this is a great outreach. Please, I'm sorry. It is. No, that's okay. So we teamed up and we decided to go to Woodhill Park. That's yes. where we're doing it. And you're going to tell me there's no tennis courts at Woodhill Park. I was, I'm was. i glad to hear that you're putting in tennis courts for this event. Okay. Yeah, we, we're making makeshift tennis courts. There's a new program, I say new, it's been out about five years, where 10 and under's actually playing a smaller court. Oh, really? And the 8 and under's playing a smaller court. Do they so, use the same size no, ball and racket? Nope. Ball is different. It's a heavy, it's a, well, it's a lighter ball, but it's bigger. Okay. Ball, so it bounces lower. So, All right. you know, I don't expect my four-year-old child to play with the same racket that you play with. Every other sport has done that, except tennis, that. right? So, that's what I'm saying. So, they've basically babied it down to okay. the size of the child. So that's how we can make it, because we can make a court up anywhere. We can do it in a parking lot or wherever So is it half the size of a regular court? Or? It's actually the eight and under court is from the doubles alley to the doubles alley that way. So it's across So it's the narrower, court this yeah, way, okay. But a ten and under court is actually 60 foot and a regular court 78 foot. So it's about three quarters of it for a ten and under court. So you'll set up these smaller courts at Woodhill? We'll set up the eight and under courts and they get smaller rackets with the foam balls. So how many courts will you set up? Depends how much room we got. We need tape, and that's about it. Caution tape. And you and and you need outreach to the neighborhood. Well, and that's where yeah. I mean, we have teamed up as well with Urban Impact, and they okay. deal with a lot of after-school kids that you know in that area. That's the area they try and go into. Sure. And um, we're trying to get kids to go out and play tennis that wouldn't have the opportunity. I mean, they're not going to find us here. We no. have to go out to them. And you're doing outreach to them. Yes. But but for a couple of reasons. One, to get them involved in something else other than what normally they would do, and that being tennis, which would give them some uh -huh. outlet for energy as well as health. Yes. But as part of this event, you're, you're going to equip them a little bit too, aren't we you? We are. We're actually doing a huge drive here at the tennis club. There's probably about 100 trash bags of clothes upstairs right now. Really? That we're actually going to sort out today, and we're going to bag them, and they can come. The whole community, it's not just kids, it's adults too. So the whole community can come out, and we're going to give them clothes, and we're going to give them shoes, whatever I've got, whatever people have donated. So if anyone wants to donate anything, you still got until about Friday next week to donate. And then we're also doing food as well. So between 11 and 2, that's why it's 11 and 2, so they can come out and have a lunch as well. On the 6th, which is, I'm assuming, a Saturday. Saturday. It is a yep. Saturday. Yes, it is. Well planned. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> so is anybody going around the neighborhood over there? Or it is. Urban Impact is actually, they're coming tomorrow to pick up our flyers, and okay. they're going to go door to door and hand out these flyers. I they go in that wonderful. neighborhood, and they're actually going door to door to hand out flyers. So. Well, I'll make we sure I mention it at the council meeting between now and then. Okay, but great. 
just the fact that you all are doing that is just tremendous. And this is the first year you've done this at this all? This is the first year. It's the first team, time USDA has teamed with Nickelodeon to do this. And there's different worldwide days of play going on around the state. There's probably about 40 of them around the state. But really? we're doing our out, we're doing two, one here at the tennis club actually this Sunday, and then one out on Saturday. And that's our outreach to the people that, you know, May not well, like I mean, that. different things in different ways, but this yeah. in Woodhill will be a tremendous outreach yeah. because that's a that's an opportune area, yeah, I think. Is. And it I is. think that, you know, with the amount of you're going to bring a lot to bear there on, on the sixth of October. Yeah. If hopefully. you have that many clothes, oh, that much lot. equipment. Yeah. And then, I mean, we've got tennis rackets that are donated. We've probably got balls as well. So we're hoping that people that come out, we can give them a tennis racket and ball, so then they can go out and play themselves. See, that's the tremendous part of this. Yeah. Is you, you you give them a reason to come out, and then truly you kind of outfit them for life a little yeah, bit. Exactly. Because tennis can be a very empowering game. It is, and it's not like I say to you, okay, we're going to go play tennis now, and you're playing on a full size court. I could probably teach anybody, or anyone can take these smaller rackets and smaller balls and hit with anybody within five minutes. Really? Because it's just easier to do it. Balls do you, do you have some here? See, because uh -huh. to be familiar with it is to understand yeah, it. I think. And yeah. that, since your description is so vivid, in fact, I'm sorry we didn't lay out a court here just to see what it would be like. Yeah, but we we can do that. We can work on that. We can do it. Well, I just I think it's great. Now, how, so how long have you been here at the tennis center yourself? I've been here seven years at the club, and two years as manager, and you can tell I'm not from here. Yeah, you're. <laughs> I don't think we're wearing you down. Doesn't sound like. No. Because <laughs> no. you sound the same, I think. No, I don't. I go across to England, and they call me. I'm sorry, Yank. I know that's sometimes bad, no, but I mean, a Yankee. But in England, every American is a Yankee, so I get called a Yankee. So you have, so when you go home, they think I'm 100% American. They hear no English. And well, I'm, I'm glad or I'm sorry, whatever. <laughs> I mean, you, know, it, you sound you sound wonderful. I tell you. Thanks. Well, all right, we're going to take a break, and, and you might go get some of that. I'll go get it. And then I'll we'll, set it up. we'll we'll talk. Oh, how about more. you play? I, if I set, if we set it up, you play. How's that? I can't say no on camera. Sounds good. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We have set up, what, what do you call this court? A junior court? No. It's called an eight and under court. An eight and under court. Yes. And you've been kind enough to let me hold some of the accoutrement here. I have. You're holding the uh, larger size ball. It's a little bit larger. If you bounce it, you'll see that it doesn't bounce quite as high. No, it so doesn't have as much pop. When I make you play, it's going to be a little harder for you. But imagine you're eight years old, you're going to be about here. So that would be right where you need to hit the ball. So this is so. kind of a bigger target for you as a, as a yeah, and it doesn't as come eight as and fast. under. Yes, okay, it doesn't right. come as fast. And then you've got the racket. So this is an adult, adult size racket. Okay. And that's actually a really light racket. So what you're doing there. Oh, it's got right? a little, this has had some use. Yeah, it's had some use. So All right. Ooh, I like the grip. Now, All if right. you look at this one, this is a 23 inch racket. Okay. Look at the size difference. So now, is this what you'd use for this event? This is this is size? What, yep, it'll be eight and unders. You can use okay. a multi different rackets, 23. Then you've got a 21 inch. Oh, oh you're so challenging you, me uh, here. Okay, there okay. we go. So if you look at it, you can see a good size difference. So Even in the, adults, the f yes. eight and under and 10 and unders can use this. All right. And then a eight and under would use this one. And they actually make a 19 inch too. For like the really little kids. But the fa the faces don't get much smaller, but they get some. Well, yeah, they do, but it's just easier to hit. All right, now. So are you ready? So you're the professional here, correct? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. I'm going to make you play with the really small racket. Okay. Okay, now don't try and beat me. I, I'm just going to try to get it back to you. Okay, sounds good. And you can serve this to me. Okay, your lines are going to be from the white line there to the white line over there. No, not on the second court, on this court. Oh, my. You're being very kind. Uh oh, oh, oh. Here you go. All right. So this is the. Oh, you don't use. Swing a little harder. And that's swing what you. A little harder. That's what you'd be telling on October sixth too, yeah. right? Okay. Swing a little harder. Okay. Go. Oh, I make it. Who? Go, go, go. Oh. Okay, you gotta swing hard. Swing. Swing, baby, swing. Okay. You gotta scratch your back when you're done. No, this is. Yeah. All right. Oh, that was better. 
Oh, I popped. No, I'm trying to hit it over, not back. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, I did that time. Okay, this has been wonderful. <laughs> this is, isn't it great to see your council member sweat? So. Scratch your back. You actually hit the ball properly when you did that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for the short lesson on the eight and under court. There you go. <laughs> All right, so October 6th. 11 to 2, 11 to Wood 10. Hill Park. And you'll have these courts set up sometimes just with tape on the ground every day. Sometimes it'll actually be caution tape as opposed to the net. And you'll do it on the, probably in the parking lot. We'll do there. it on a parking lot, or I think there's a basketball court there, so we'll use the basketball court. And actually, the basketball court is more or less the same size as the tennis court, too. And you'll, t you'll take all comers, evidently. Anybody that wants to come out and try some tennis and run around, need, need clothes, we're going to have clothes, all adult and junior clothes. And we've got food. Oh, food. Food. <laughs> <laughs> yep. This is going to be a real investment in Lexington. It is. It'll be fun. So this is the first year you've done it? This is the first year. Do you anticipate doing it more? Yes. We do stuff out. We do a lot of outreach out there anyway. So, I mean, we go out there. We do a couple different parks. We've done Constitution Park before. Good. And go out there and do different parks with tennis. Well, this is very good. Yep. Well, we'll look forward to following this event and then others that are upcoming. Absolutely. But we have one other person that helps provide all of this. Yes, we do. put it together. Yep. And, and without her, I wouldn't be able to do it. All right. So, so that's Del Kelly, and she's going to join us after I catch my breath. We'll be right back. Championship golf at its finest. 18 holes of a first-class golf encounter. Kearney Hill Golf Links, designed by world-renowned architects Pete and P.B. Dye. Kearney Hill Golf Links has a 10-acre practice area, a great golf shop stocked with the latest equipment and apparel, and a professional staff eager to serve you. Make your next golf experience a great one at Kearney Hill Golf Links. A touch of Scotland in the bluegrass. Call today at 253-1981 for your tee time. Welcome back. We've returned with 5th District resident and friend of mine, Del Kelly. Del, welcome. Thank you. So glad to be here. You, you really have a great love for this game in Lexington, don't you? I do. I'm very passionate about tennis. Um, I'm a tennis volunteer. I sit on the board of directors of the United States USTA Kentucky, uh -huh. and I founded a community tennis association that helps promote tennis in the community called the Tennis Association of Central Kentucky. Now, I've never even heard of that. I'm so sorry. Well, that's okay. It's, we have tennis uh, community tennis associations set up all over the United States. Okay. We are basically an arm of the United States Tennis Association to try to get tennis out into the community and get as many people playing tennis as possible. Well, you've been doing a great job. Well, thank you. And t tell the audience what you told me about the U.S. Open and its... Well, a that? lot of the money that yeah. the United States Tennis Association makes is from the United States Open, and it's one of the largest sporting events in the world. Um, that money is funneled down through the systems to the community tennis associations, and mm -hmm. they in turn try to get it out into the community and promote and develop tennis. You know, that's that's as organic as it gets, isn't it? It is. It is. And I, I, I'm passionate about tennis, and I think functions that promote tennis in our community mm -hmm. are optimum. You yes. know that we have an ongoing problem problem of obesity. This is national It's documented obesity. almost daily, isn't it? Yes. yes. It's National Obesity Month. Our current rate in Kentucky is 30%. It's projected in the next 10 years to go up to 60%. Tennis is a fun, great way to get out, be physically active, help maybe, you know, delete well, that. So, If we want to get in touch with your community tennis organization, how do we do so? You can go online okay. to www.lexingtonleaguetennis.com. And we have all of the contact information right, right there. LexingtonLeagueTennis.com. We will do that. You have been fun to link us up with this today, and I hope we've done a good job of, you know, bringing a little focus to your October 6th event at Woodhill Park. I think you've done a great job, and we really appreciate it. Well, thank you for your investment in this and in Lexington. Well, thank you. I'm Bill Farmer for Lexplore. If I can be of help in the council office, please give me a call or go to the website. Thank you very much.